Hey everybody, this is Darren from Crossroads. I attend the Hampstead Crossroads Community Church and uh, this past Sunday, Reed Robinette was live and in person and he gave the final sermon in our series, One Church, and this one was titled, One More. And wow, so many things to, to take away from this. Uh, one of the things that, that Reed said that I just sat there and contemplated for several minutes was, that we are alive to change lives. And uh, I just sat there and just soaked that in and thought, wow, the purpose of life is to change a life, to add one more to the kingdom. But as I contemplated what I really wanted to share and what I really wanted to reflect on from the message, it came from, you know, Reed was teaching in Acts and you know, the beginning of the church, the new church, Acts is all about, you know, the church being born. And the word that comes to mind uh, that I just, I could not get away from was the word routine. So Peter and John, um, every, uh, every time church was uh, in session, uh, they walked into church, they walked through the gate called beautiful. And that was their routine to walk through that gate to go to synagogue or to church. But another routine that happened every day was there was a beggar that was brought there to the gate every day to beg. And that's the way he got enough money to buy food and, and to survive. So that was his routine. His routine every day was to be dropped off at that gate. And we use the word routine a lot. You know, we have a routine in our, li in our lives where we get coffee from the same place. Uh, the guy that pours our coffee, we might know his name, he might know our name, he might know how we take our coffee and what time we come through the drive-through. We have the routine of, of where we live, our neighbors, the conversations we have at the mailbox or while we're mowing grass. You know, we've become familiar, so it becomes a routine to have easy conversations. We have routines at work. We see the same people, we interact with the same people, we may get to know them and have a relationship with them, all part of our routine. We may know their, their families, we may know their kids, we may know where their kids go to school or what play or what sporting event is coming up, and that's our routine. And we have a routine at home uh, where we do certain things day in and day out. So all of these things become our routine, much like the beggar that got dropped off, much like Peter and John walking through the gate and going to church. But this one particular time, and Reed highlighted this, this one particular time that Peter and John walked through the gate and saw the beggar that they had seen many times, and again, part of their routine was to see this man. They may have known his name. They may have had conversations with him before. We don't know. But this one particular routine day, something stirred inside of Peter and John to do something different. And... It was because of a prayer they prayed that they were able to do something risky and take a bold action. Those were the three things that Reed really highlighted, you know, to, to pray a prayer, to take a risk, and then maybe take a bold action. So really what I came away from that is, man, I have routine day in and day out. Routine, routine, routine. So. What I took away and what I'm going to do, and maybe you can challenge yourself with this, is to pray through your routine. Ask God to show up. Ask the Holy Spirit to prompt something within you that, yeah, it's going to be risky. That conversation you might have with the guy that pours your coffee or the water cooler at work or the sporting event with your kids or your neighbor, something could just well up inside of you that encourages you encourages you to take that risk and then that's going to lead to a bold action maybe we invite somebody to church maybe we ask somebody if they know jesus um, maybe we just say hey do you want to know more about jesus i don't know what it is but that's the challenge that i took away from uh, this past sunday uh, i loved the message one more could we add one more to the kingdom could we encourage one person could we make a difference in somebody's life? So anyway, hope to see you at church. Um, love being part of the Hampstead community. And uh, just God bless. We'll see you soon.